any organization coming in well intentioned, I think that that you know I appreciate any help people bring, and I've uh, you know I'm not going to name organizations, but I know that there are some organizations that did come in, and they made a pretty good life for themselves by advocating funding for. Uh, on behalf of Native people. A lot of times that funding is, you know, you don't really see it across the reservation. And a lot of them have to do with church organizations. And uh, I think that that's mainly the, the bulk of, of the assistance that, come, that, that do come in. But, and the ones that we've heard about and I've heard about, um, they're like, uh, I know one in particular that built this big old center and they were baptizing children in there without even the consent of the parents. And, um, and that caused some great concern. Parents were coming in and saying, hey, you know, why don't you guys do something about these people? They're coming in and they're baptizing my children. I believe in the red road. I, I follow the path of my ancestors, but yet they're coming in and baptizing my children without my consent. Organizations doing things this very, uh, disrespectful to the people uh, just on behalf of their own belief systems. Um, I think that's really what I, I see as a problem. And then you have people here who kind of play a minor role for the middleman who may be living in California is going around and saying, I'm going to advocate for you. So you're my contact person on reservation. So they go around and soliciting money for tribes and then they're getting all this money and then only giving so much to this person. This person pockets so much of that and just a few dollars comes out actually into the community. So you have people out there who are shysters, as I call them, who are advocating, who are soliciting money on behalf of Indian people off the reservation. They're getting this money and saying, uh, you know, I'm going to charge this huge administrative fee. And so 75% goes to administration, 25% goes to uh, the, the, the next person, and that person maybe will keep 15%, maybe 10%, 10 cents out of the dollar that you give to help people on a reservation will get that money. And that's really how it plays. Same with the government. You know, we have a middleman, the Bureau of Indian Affairs. They get their cut. They get a big lion's share of the cut. And then only a small amount trickles back down here because of their administrative cost. That's the problem that I see with a lot of people out here uh, soliciting on behalf of Native people is that the money is not getting down here. And that's the problem. You want to do things to help. I think there needs to be a different criteria